If you're still using Firebase in 2025, you might be making your life harder than it needs to be. There is a better way to build backend using a tool called Superbase. Superbase is quickly becoming go-to tool for modern developers. So, what is Superbase? Superbase is open source Firebase alternative. Out of the box, Superbase comes with PostgreSQL database, authentication, serverless functions, file store, real-time subscriptions, and much more. The best thing is you do not have to glue together all these different parts. Superbase has everything in one place ready for you to use. Let's start with database. Superbase uses PostgreSQL under the hood, which means all your data will be stored in tables and columns. The best part is every time you create a table, Superbase will create a REST API and a QL API endpoint for you to access that data. So you do not have to worry about creating API endpoints. Superbase does that for you out of the box. One more point that I would like to highlight is you can view, manage and run SQL queries on your data right from Superbase dashboard. This allows you to not having to worry about connecting your database from outside. You can simply log into Superbase dashboard and manage your data. Now let's move on to my favorite part, which is authentication. Superbase allows you to configure authentication either using simple email password or magic links. Superbase also allows you to configure OAuth using providers such as Google or GitHub. The best part is you can configure policies which will ensure your data stays secure. For example, this policy right here will ensure only authenticated user can access their own data. I will dig deeper into policies in future videos, but for now, this is the highlight. Configuring authentication is super based is a piece of cake as compared to Firebase. Now let's talk about file uploads. Superbase allows you to upload images, PDF, videos, or whatever you wish to upload and set who is allowed to either upload files or access uploaded files. And you can configure all this using the same SQL policy system that I mentioned earlier. And it's all built into Superbase. There is no need to configure S3 buckets or any third party plugins. Last but not the least, need to send an email or process a Stripe payment. Superbase lets you write serverless functions. These functions deploy instantly and run super fast. So you do not have to worry about running your custom code. Let's say in the future you wish to run your custom code whenever a certain event is triggered in your app. You can do that using less functions in Superbase. To put all this together, Superbase is fairly easy to configure and use. The best part is Superbase is open source. You can host Superbase's instance on your own servers. Superbase does not force you into vendor lock-in. That means you own the data. Let's compare Firebase to Superbase. Firebase uses NoSQL database. And as your app gets more complex, managing relationships between the data gets harder. Whereas Superbase uses SQL database, so managing relationships is much more easier. Firebase is closed source, whereas Superbase is open source, which means you can take Superbase's instance and run it on your own servers. You are not forced for vendor lock-in. Firebase has weird rules that you have to configure to make sure your data is secure, whereas Superbase allows you to write policies in SQL to ensure your data stays safe. So here's the bottom line. If you want to build fast, keep full control, and use a platform that actually scales well, Superbase is probably the smartest choice in 2020. And in the future videos, I will show you exactly how to integrate Superbase into frameworks like Next.js or Vanilla React library. So make sure you pack for that. This is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.